Shalom. It's falling to shore. Welcome again to the rock. I'm just showing. Um, so these two potato beds right here and this third one. Um, we harvested the potatoes out of these. Now this is about, uh, I'd say, 15 to 20 percent of our harvest. Um, we have other beds and then we have our in-ground potatoes. But as you can see, uh, they were harvested. And what we did is we harvested them and then we replanted them so, uh, with a uh, seed potato we had held over from last year. Um, so we can have a winter crop. Uh, so the ones that we plant now will grow and they will be ready right about, you know, well, late fall. Late fall before the freeze is set, we'll come and harvest these. Uh, we still have one more bed here. You can see some those, those potatoes right there are bad. Um, and this bed right here, we're going to actually do sweet potatoes this year. This is our first time doing real potatoes, you know, really focusing on heavily on doing it and we grew our potatoes and leaves and as you can see uh these two garden beds right here the leaves broke down really well but we added a little bit more soil and compost so the leaves broke down really well this one didn't break down very well well it broke down well it's not as fast you can see the soil in there so a lot of the, i mean literally we grew all of our in these beds all of our raised beds we grew our potatoes in leaves and then we added, you know, amendments and uh, nitrogen, things like that to get the leaves to break down. And we got a pretty good harvest. Let me show you. Also, we're getting in uh, another set of uh, potatoes in. We're going to be putting these in the soil soon. Uh, likely throwing those in our, we call it hoop house, greenhouse. So... It was a family day. We all just came out here, decided to do it. So this is what we've harvested. We have two trays. Uh, if you fill them up, probably one and a half real trays of potatoes. And this is about 20% of what we harvested, or, or of what we have planted here on the rock. So uh, most of the other gardens, like the in-ground garden, obviously, is dirt so we're expecting a better hole from the in-ground beds or the growing in ground than we did growing in leaves but again these leaves have broken down seriously fast I mean, let me see now, these beds again we plant them out and we just put leaves on top for uh water retention so let's go down to the soil you see how high the soil is and these are two bricks and then the cedar post high and you can see how much it broke down so the leaves broke down that high um, so you know I tell people all the time if you're doing raised beds you know uh, do majority of your bed in leaves then put a layer of soil or compost on top and plant in that and you can get good results because at the same time that you're growing the manure and the compost you know we use goat manure fresh from our goat pen and then our rabbit manure in our gardens and obviously our chicken manure we have to compost it's too hot but the manures actually break down the leaves while you're and provide nutrients for your plant while you're um growing you know while you're growing uh, food so i mean the process worked we're going to be doing a lot more uh, gardening videos got a lot of feedback on people asking about them and, and um, I apologize that we kind of went away from it, but we're getting back to it. So this garden right here is all planted. You see on that side, it's all leaved up. We have to finish this side, putting leaves down. And we'll have a harvest between now and uh, uh, winter. So we have two, oh, you get to see two in the background. Uh, since Ebony is doing some homeschooling right now. Um, oh, with well, the children. But uh, it's a beautiful thing to know that you can grow your food. You can grow a, a, a ton of food, you know, and uh, a lot for a lot of us, it just comes down to are you going to do it or not? It's not a matter of can you. You can. It's just a matter of will you put in the work, the sweat, the man hours to do it. So we have a storm coming in right now. We got these three done. Um, with this amount of leaves on it, we haven't actually watered our garden one time 
these raised beds have not been guarded, watered one time and the soil will still very, very moist. Very, very moist. So we're just looking forward to um, harvesting this last bed right here and then planting this up with sweet potatoes and then going and uh, harvesting some of the seed or some of the potatoes in other areas. You can see how the soil break down. That's still damp, nice and moist. See how, I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful soil and this is just all leaves. I mean, you got some uh, black walnut husks. Our land produces a ton of black walnuts, which we press and we make oil out of it and we eat them and use them in different meals, cookies, things like that. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. So, hope you're continuing to grow. Just doing this video is a little bit of an inspiration. People asking, you know, growing potatoes, you know. It's, it's a very interesting conversation when people find out that I left, you know, the inner city, you know, Southern California to live this life. But, um, praise y'all for it. Anyways, bless y'all. Hope you're having a blessed and productive second day. And uh, we'll continue to bring you along as we transition the channel into more homesteading type stuff and uh may it be a blessing y'all all right bless y'all shalom